Gang, the State Trashy Tour is coming to a city near you. Stand-up comedy, plus we play a little AYG with the crowd. Shows are selling out, and you can get your tickets at rugarbage.com. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Hey, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're group to be classy. Yeah. Or they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a, on a thundering day. Ooh, boom. Out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. It feels nice and cozy. Got a fire going. Rug. Woo! Put a log on. Nothing like a rainstorm in the summertime. Amen, sister. Sweet Lord. Uh, Tootie is down at the community center. Okay. Yeah, she volunteers once a week. That's good for her. Yeah. My co-host is coming at you from across the table. (laughs) This is a family episode. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage? International businessman. Business. Loves a flatbread. (laughs) A flatbread freak. KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube, as you know those numbers are. Twitter up. Thank you very much, Mr. T-Bone. They're cooking. And obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. You go over there. You join the over 10,000 homies. Let's just say it. Over 10,000 homies on there. There's a lot going on over there, On the too. Patreon. And we Not got, to toot our own horn. It's we, fun. I, I, some of the best in the biz. We, we are cranking out. You, get, you can get up to two episodes a week. You get all the bonus videos from the past two, three years. It's a fucking party, gang. Go check it out for yourself. Yeah. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer, Extraordinaire. The magic man makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours, the fives, and the sixes sometimes. Mm-hmm. It's T-Bone McScruffins. It's Toby McMullen. Hey, what's up, boys? What up, T Bone? You fixed the quaff. It looks good. Thank you very much. That was a that was a very smoky intro, like nineteen forties broadcaster. A little bit. Yeah. 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 Uh, the thunderstorm. They have invaded and then the fucking lights are down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you are, but try to find your loved ones. <laughs> I will be here. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we have not seen Tara. I don't know. Lost oh it. man, wow. fucking guy's got OZ. Go to commercial. Guy's got Ozempics <laughs> on a brain. What are you shooting that right into your fucking brain? God, that guy's mainlining it. Use a salad dressing. <laughs> Shake it on there. You know what I wanted to ask you? It just popped into my head. <laughs> What's that? Have you ever have you ever had your chain snatched? What? <laughs> my chain snatched? <laughs> what? Oh my jaw rule? Who gets their chain snatched like that? <laughs> you got real chain snatch face. I can see. I did. I I can see you high school, not high school, with your jerseys on no. out, out on the Wildwood Boardwalk at night. Okay, you have. You have. I just got my chain snatch face. Officer, <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> he was mean to me. I don't me. know why it popped into my head, but it did. I gotta get that back. It was mostly zinc. <laughs> <laughs> the jokes on him. That'll turn his neck green. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I uh, no, it's never been snatched. There was a period. You look like a kid that would get robbed on the boardwalk. No, and I'm that's not an insult. <laughs> well, it's not a compliment. I don't know what to tell you. What the fuck? What's with this guy? Comes in at my throat. You have a bad tootie. This guy's all over the map. That was a good tootie. <laughs> yeah, was, that was... misdirection. <laughs> There's the thunder again. <laughs> we went on a 1940s radio riff. You started talking, talking about a missing girl. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't good on that one. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I fucked that up. I was trying to think of something real good. <laughs> you guys want to take it from the top? <laughs> Ladies uh, and gentlemen, stay in your homes. <laughs> we have not seen terror like this. There is a, there is a chain snatcher out there. <laughs> um, no, I did. I never got beat up on the boardwalk. Uh, I don't think I've ever gotten in a fight on the boardwalk. Uh, that was, it never got on the, on the board. It was off the board. Have you ever been in a fight? Yeah, yes. You ever mix it up? Yeah, we've talked about this a bunch. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. It's just just checking you. Yeah. That's, you want, start calling you fucking. You want to be in another one? Ronnie the Reacher over here. Hey, Jack Reacher. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? Hey, reaching for, hey, you ever been beat up? Hey, excuse me, sir. Have you ever been beat up? Um, <laughs> uh, no, but I did wear a chain with a charm. We called them charms back in the day. Was it half a heart? No, it was a dragon uh, that I got at the mall. Yeah, it was like a serpent 
dra- you know, like an S-Dragon kind of. It was very like Romeo Must Die type stuff. And he had like four legs, and I think a tongue or a fire type thing. Yeah, that's there all was... fun and games until so he hit Red Dragon's territory. Oh, yeah, fucking it come rolling up on me. Four legs, that's a dog, dude. What are you <laughs> talking about? Uh, why? Because I was a dork. What do you mean, why? Hence why I asked you that you got your chain snatched. I mean, you weren't, they weren't snatching chains in junior high. You go right to the principal's office for that. We weren't out in the streets. I was telling you, know, I mean, snatching chains. Uh, no, a, char- a, a, chain, a necklace and charms, what we call it. I was 13 or whatever. What? Everybody had to have a cross, a something. You got them at the mall. They were like, the chain was probably 35 bucks and the charm was probably 15 or something. Did you like collect that. them like the way moms did? And, like, no, the it wasn't two- a charm like that. I think that's just what we called them. It was like a... Imagine like if you know Fifty Cent has the big cross, the big gold cross, uh-huh. a very small, subtle version. Like tiny. I'm picturing like a Monopoly piece. No, it was probably like this big. Yeah, you. Dad wasn't thrilled you about dragon. It. Dad wasn't thrilled. Yeah. Look at well, you. Well, all so you know it was like you don't want to get the same one. It's like someone had like a cross, and you want to get the. You don't want to be just like you know fucking Pat had this and this. So I had to go a little, uh, you know. A little martial arts style on him. Fucking Kippy the Dragon coming at you. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't my proudest moment. I only wore it uh I only wore it for a little bit, you know. Special occasion. Don't got till it got snatched. Uh so it did get stolen. No, I'm kidding. I think I polished it too much and then the the, <laughs> the silver finish came off. <laughs> it's plastic underneath. Yeah, I would clean it. It was yeah, I was clean. Yeah, I had like I stole my mom had like a jewelry cloth. I would clean. I got to be sharp, dude. I had to be fresh. You seen me? I was cool back then. What year are we talking? 2000, 2000? 2000. We're in yeah, charm necklaces. Dre had just came out with the Chronic for the nine nine two thousand. That was huge, man. When that album dropped to a fucking, he wasn't wearing charm bracelets. They had not bra- not a charm bracelet. You have the wrong picture in your head. I think I got the right picture. No, it was a cool necklace that cool guys wore a lot. You got I, anything on this? You're, you're his age. I don't he know. He was homeschooled. He probably lost it driving his Kawasaki on the highway with his <laughs> katana. <laughs> <laughs> was I in the uh, I, was I a prospect for the yakuza? Maybe. All right, I'm not. I'm not supposed to talk about it. But I was doing some deals. Okay, I Could, was. Couldn't I was an the, affiliate. Couldn't fit in the suit. <laughs> I don't have the jacket on, just the tie. Look, the he, looks, he looks terrible in a skinny <laughs> black tie. I look like the waiter. <laughs> I look like the waiter at a communion pot <laughs> caterer. <laughs> I'm carrying in sternos. Uh, that's Kevin. He's the waiter. Uh, yeah. We call him Dragon. Wasn't my uh, wasn't my wasn't my proudest moment. Okay, like I said, popped into my head. Sure. I thought maybe you know, in the rough and tumble streets of Wildwood as a kid, you probably had a lip on you. You're, I know you <laughs> yeah, were slow. I was. <laughs> I was a pussy. I kept my. I was afraid of my own shadow. I kept my head down and fucking as a kid, kid like eight or nine. Like a guy with a sixteen year old with a goatee and a mustache, and I fucking wasn't making eye contact with him. <laughs> No way. <laughs> fucking wearing a tank top? Uh-uh. Keep finish, it moving. Finish my dipping dots and go <laughs> Get home. the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> Maybe a game of skee-ball <laughs> Gateway 26, but I ain't mixing it up with the fucking the trash that's down there. The hooligans. Oh, man. On yeah. the boards. You know what would scare me as a kid? The guy you would see, right, if you were like 10, 11. I was just always afraid of anybody older than me. An adult, uh, whatever, uh, you know. Some of them were real scary. But the kid that would have looking a, for trouble. The kid that had a tattoo that wasn't eighteen, where like his mom signed off on it or whatever. You know, they played it real fast and loose in that household. It's a fucking single mom signing off for a kid to get a tribal tattoo. He or got something. the hanger every once in a while. Ooh, sure. Yeah, they, they heated up on the stove first too and gave him a good whack. Some fifteen-year-old with a switchblade on their arm. Yeah, something like that where you're like, you <laughs> chip s- on his shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Looking to fucking tune up Pudgy over yeah. here. <laughs> That's my slice of Sam's. Which is why I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was afraid of everybody, especially that uh, young fat kid. I didn't want nobody <laughs> looking at me. Uh-uh. Keep it moving. Head down. Ten and two. <sighs> take Kippy's pizza. Um, that never happened, right? Did you ever take your lunch or anything like that? I, I didn't. Go, I didn't go to school in Sing Sing. What do you talk? Take my lunch. <laughs> 
Is everything just an eighties movie with bullies? Nobody's nobody ever really stole anyone's lunch like that. You I ever get know. in a ski race for the mountain? <laughs> yeah, <what> the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> do you ever ring the homecoming elections? What are you talking about? No. Do you, do you ever like the most popular girl in school, but then found out the girl that was your friend next to you was really beautiful when she took her Once glasses, you took her glasses off? off and put her hair down? <laughs> I took her to prom. Woo. Uh yeah, no, I didn't know. I didn't grow up in Saved by the Bell, so that okay. never happened. But um one thing I did I I saw which were that's funny it reminded me of the, these years of those or very early teen years of me rocking my 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 necklace. What do they call it? I think they call it a piece now. No, like a Jesus piece, but I think that's Is it would it be bigger than this? Oh yeah. Oh really? And the chain was fatter too. Oh. Yeah, no, it wasn't no rinky dink thing. This is uh, that makes it man, worse. I went to Jacob the jeweler and got iced out. That's what happened. Kippy came <laughs> Kippy came frosty. Came back from Rock and Robbins. <laughs> 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 is that guy national? One of them's national. I don't think so. Oh man! If you're so. out there, local Google, Philadelphia jeweler, Delaware. So you, Delaware. So I think that's where the hub is. So you don't pay the sales tax on the engagement rings. He used to have a a diamond in his beard. Yeah, he, diamond in his beard. Seemed like a real prick to me. <laughs> Fucking, what are you, what are you show off? <laughs> what are we doing here? How you chewing with that? <laughs> Scratching your gums. Go down on your wife. Came up with a catchy uh, jingle, though. Thank Rock you and Robbins. Yeah. Yep. Um, but this reminds me, I saw kids in the park the other day uh, smoking weed like they do, these young hooligans. Smoking of, doobies? Out of a fuck on a fucking... Uh, Coke can. Soda can. Really? Which, to me, I we stopped doing... Like, you, you were able to get... I can't imagine now not being able to get your hands on papers or a one e or a blunt or something, because that shit wasn't ready avail- readily available... In the in Bucks County as a thirteen year old, a one hitter in the nineties, you had to like send away. For I thought it. they were for crack when the first time I saw one. I'm like, yo, what are you? My brother had one of those dugouts with the little fucking sig. I'm like, that ah, thing, dude. that thing looks like you'd be smoking ice out of that. I always kind of low key hated those wooden dugouts. You didn't know when you were hitting wood or no, not. Uh, you don't dude, know what you were smoking. Fucking... It was always bad weed in there. Somebody pulls one of those things out. Bleh. I remember we were like 14. I just learned what it was, I think, through my brother or maybe even younger. And then my buddy's dad. Remember they were the wooden thing and they had the. Yeah, yeah like they dude. all looked the same. Yeah. For the listener, it was the SIG. The, you filled the little tube. It was a wooden container that had like a, a metal SIG looking one hitter. And then you. But like a little weed compartment. What do you think? They're a bunch of nerds. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We could have fucking 13 year olds listening. These things are old school, baby. No one's still rolling around with a bat in a dugout. (laughs) Oh, man. (laughs) So my buddy's dad came. He's got a headband on if he does. (laughs) What's up, man? (laughs) Right on, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Guy sleeps in a van. Sure. (laughs) But. Uh, my buddy's dad, I, we were 13, 14, and I had just learned what it was. My buddy's dad came home with one in his pocket, like didn't think anybody was going to know. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, he's fucking fried to the gills. He... All smoked oh, up. Dude, fucking eyes all swollen and shit. I, I look in his lips, and fucking, like, like out of a movie high. Probably because he didn't smoke that much, but he just had like him and his boy. They went to the Sixers game or something. <laughs> he came back lit, like like a teenager high, crunched. <laughs> I remember shooting basketball, and he's like, "Let me see it," and he was like, "Try." He was all fucking, you know, it's probably smoking wet. Now that I look back, <laughs> I stopped at Felton Street before the game. Yeah, but I saw it. And I was like, "Oh, that's when it all hit me." I'm like, "Yo, your dad is your dad <laughs> smokes weed." Like, pro- that was the first dad that I knew that I was like, "Oh." Your dad proper smokes weed. We just had one. Yeah, one or two. I think we had. Yeah, just one. But it was never outright. You would like we would like did like I said we would like you go rooting and you'd find you know you'd find something. Didn't have to root too far. Sock drawer, boom. Single dad, out at work every day. Mm-hmm. Go in there. Easy case. I remember my. There was a part, try to be vague with this. A friend had a party. I don't know if I ever told this story. A friend had a party and uh, a lot of people went. It was like, no, there was no, no kids were allowed. Like nobody was allowed at the house, like just parents only. And we, yeah. And my family had gone with like some other friends of friend, you know, parents of 
our friends group. Okay. But it was an outside. It was a. It was a. It was a ragtag group from another, <laughs> another way of life. I think I. <laughs> and my mom. My mom went for like a half hour. Had a fucking. You know. Had a white. Had a had a white wine. And was like, all right, this ain't my cup. Of I don't know if you I told me on were, the show. You told you. you, you <laughs> I told think me. they were driving motorcycles in the pool and stuff. It was like a fucking. It was a real fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Dudes are just squirting lighter fluid in the fire pit. <laughs> It was a real fucking passing doobies around. I don't. I think it was a little. So that's what we had just assumed. I we found a spoon in the bathroom the next day, like a the fucking with like bent. You, no, not bent, but it had a bunch of yellow residue, and it was in an upstairs bathroom. Eee. No reason to have a spoon. And that was the first. Yeah, time I remember like, you telling me about maybe that. Maybe we stop hanging out here. Yeah. This, this is a lot. So guy going, I need to powder my nose. You're just falling out of the bathroom. <laughs> She's all yours if you want it. <laughs> <laughs> Two days later. <laughs> I think there's an alcohol swab rolling around here somewhere. I was like, all left right. The, left the needle on the toilet seat for you. <laughs> yeah, not great. Hey, thanks, Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty. That, that guy's for sure Rusty. <laughs> Woo-wee. Uh, yeah. But. Um, what yeah. you want to tell me? No, I saw the kid smoking weed out of the fucking soda can, and that reminded me, I only ever did it two or three times. It didn't feel, it was like my first or so, maybe my second or third time smoking weed. I did it a lot, and every time I thought I was going to get Alzheimer's. The pain. Because that's what they tell you. The pain. Oh, it was terrible for you. It was like, you. Uh, looking back, even then, I'm like, this ain't, you know, the like, first time you smoke weed, you're like excited, you're like, this is cool, whatever, we're doing it. I, th- I was even like, this ain't good. There, we got to, you know. It's pretty trashy. Oh. Uh, if you're it's still pretty out trashy. There, you got, but now everything's more yeah, readily you, available. Fucking, the, the, yeah, fucking glass bowls everywhere. Yeah, you can get them at like gas stations. Yeah. Stuff. Also, I don't think I think we those kids are about that life. What? Oh, that probably wasn't weed. No. <laughs> now that I'm looking, now that you know, I'm putting two to two, I got my detective hat on. <laughs> you dork. That's a strange way <laughs> to drink a soda. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys smoking reefer? You know, we used to use a dugout back in my day. <laughs> Fucking run my pockets, <laughs> snatch my chain. Uh, you kids want the one hitter? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah. I uh what is what is the weirdest thing? I know I was never a big weed guy. It was, a, it was a big booze bag documented, well documented. What was the weirdest thing you ever smoked weed out of? That's probably up there. The can. Yeah. Apple was big when you were in a jam. Love an apple. Apple was big. I feel like T-Bone's probably, like, smoked out of a snorkel or something. My brother's tuba mouthpiece. Tuba mouthpiece? Oh, is that a reed? Uh, no, 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 no not, not a tuba. Trumpet. Trumpet. Trumpet mouthpiece. Okay. Right. It's metal? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you tell him? What? <laughs> were you like, hey, let's make this, or you just were like, I can smoke weed <laughs> no, out of you it? ain't in that C-sharp no more, buddy. <laughs> you leave the resin in there. Fucking... He's got a black circle around his lip. <laughs> Did you put it in that part and smoked out of the the, the uh, bottom? Uh, or did I, you pack a huge bowl in the trumpet and fucking hit it? Biggity <laughs> bam! Except I would uh, not uh, never Wait, out of the what? Tr- never, no. never that doesn't out, work. Never out of the trumpet, which I regret so heavily now. I don't it think would have been like work. a cereal bowl's worth of weed. You not didn't out have of the, that kind of weight. Not out of the front part, but out of the you go. Nah, that's what I'm talking about. The front part, go heavy <laughs> bite. No, what you should do is a trombone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pull that back in. It's like pulling the shoddy. No, I would use clear that bad. Boy. I would use it to, for the bowl for gravity. Oh, balls. okay, gotcha. Oh, that's great. All yeah. right, because that was always the biggest pain in the ass about them finding the cap. That was the word we used. Yeah, cap. yeah, we got to make a cap. We got to make a cap. Ratchet was big for us. Ratchet, a ratchet head for the cap. That's good. Throw the sink screen in there. Ratchet, or sometimes you would get like the big socket, like the long extender, and you would just put that and just fucking. Sh- Crank that. You can also crank your soldier. Boy. I've also ripped the end of like a a cable like hookup like for television. Mm. That little end with the screw. You rip that off. That works. Wow. Jesus. Oh yeah. Man, I'm cr- <laughs> I'm crafty when I need a buzz. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm trying to get lifted. I don't know if crafty is the right word. Fucking Samson over here. Fucking rat. <laughs> Scurrying around. You know rat. when you're chewing through wires to get high? You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Use my mom's contact lenses. Uh, Nothing. <laughs> Fair enough. I had one buddy who would hold a. Uh, he like undid a paper clip or something, and then would just hold the nug and burn the nug and like 
Jesus <laughs> Christ. I mean, like, that's fucking... You're out there, man. We were we were 12 years old. You freebase and kind bud. <laughs> Swiggets, dude. They, that was no con. That was no kind bud. That's he was doing that with seeds and stems. I never got into that. The hot knife on the on oh, this yeah. electric stuff. I mean, you just fucking shoot heroin if you're doing that. That's where I'm at. Yeah, the coke can, and I fucking hated it every time. Yeah, it sucks. I never really fucking enjoyed it when I was a kid. I would just get massive fucking paranoia. Massive. Oh, that's why I stopped. I didn't. I mean, like I said. And then later on, I, you know, I'd like it. But you still freak there out. There was no, no. I'm saying every time I smoke, there is an hour of sheer terror. Sure. And then, you know, get. Let's talk about that liquid IV. Baby. Shout out to the liquid IV. Real hard to remember to drink your water, especially mm-hmm. in the summer. Liquid IV makes it a little bit easier because it tastes great and it hydrates you more than regular water. Yeah. I love it. You know about when I was sick, man, I was sucking that stuff down like mother's milk, baby. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Liquid IV. My favorite is the Foozy Apple. Ooh. Crush that stuff. I take it when I have the Irish flu, if you catch my <laughs> drift. Ah, it's fantastic. I love it. Uh, getting your daily dose of water has never been easier. Just mix one stick of Liquid IV with 16 ounces of water and drink up. I got the whole fam hooked on it. Sure. Everyone's crying. I show up, all the kids are like, hey, let me get that Liquid IV. It hydrates you two times faster than water alone and has three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks. So even if you've been on a crazy bender, you can bounce back in time, in in no time for work on Monday. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating, now sugar-free. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier, sugar-free, in bulk nationwide at Costco. Yep. Or get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code GARBAGE at checkout. That's, Wet our beak a little bit. That's 20% off anything you order when you use our promo code GARBAGE at liquidiv.com. Do it, gang. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Pretty Litter. Ooh, we the prettiest litter this side of the Mississippi. Not only a spokesman, also a client. Yeah, big man loves it. Ooh, I love it. Well, Puts it a little you, in his cereal. It tells you whether kitty cat's got anything wrong with her because mm-hmm. it, it changes color on you, and it's a real work smarter, not harder system. Yeah, because you can let you can let it go a little longer. Mm-hmm. Which you scoop it out. You're a big procrastinator. Yes, I am. Room smells fresh and clean. Can I'll really, tell you that. You can really push the limits. One six-pound bag of Pretty Litter works for up to a month without clumping, so you can kick it down a road a bit the AYG way, baby. <laughs> uh, Pretty Litter's crystals also change color to indicate early signs of possible illnesses sure. like UTI, kidney issues, and more, so you're able to act quickly when it when it really matters. And when you got a sick you got a sick uh, animal, you got you to gotta stick and move. It's panic time sometimes. Mm-hmm. Pretty Litter has been the best litter uh, big man's ever used. You'll love it, too. Go to prettylitter.com slash garbage and use code garbage to save 20% on your first order. That's prettylitter.com slash garbage, code garbage, to save 20% on your first order. Prettylitter.com, one more time, slash garbage, code garbage. Terms and conditions apply. See the site for details. Links in the pile. Do it. Do it. I rolled a joint out of a brown paper bag once. Receipt paper. Bible paper. I watched my brother do, and I was like, whoa. You are you are dancing with the devil. Now, how long did you train hop when you were a kid? <laughs> yeah, it's real hobo shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was all fun and games until the dog died. <laughs> it's all fucking crust punk shit you're doing. What happened to the dog? Got crushed by the train. <laughs> Jeez. All those crust punk kids always have dogs. It's fucked up. Yeah. That is fucked up. I don't like it. Um, those guys scare me. Oh, yeah. Those Carhartt overalls. I'll take your life too, sweet. Those those guys. Talk about getting your chain snatched. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking the death dealers, those Yikes. two are. Those guys are. Yeah, I don't fuck with them. No. Um, but uh, we got a goddamn family episode, gang. Do a couple of cues Let's here, Kippy. Let's get into some Patreon questions when you sign up for the Patreon. I sound like a broken record, but when you sign up for the Patreon, I'll answer your garbage question, baby. You sign up over there. It's a good fucking time. It is. It's and fun. the homies... They got home runs. What are we talking about here? They do. The homies throw high fucking heat. The homies hit dingers, dude. They do, <laughs> man. It's like a goddamn home run derby on that thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, this one's from Travis. Very in the world. Perfect. Didn't even plan this. This is the first question pulled. Uh, $10 startup investor here. Shout out to you. Is it garbage wow. to be on probation in junior high? Yes. Uh, yeah, for course. sure. Did you? You were. You never got. You never got. You never got snatched by the fuzz, did you? No. Either did I got very lucky got a bunch pinched. of times. Oh, we got away. Yeah, where like my insane. boys would get caught, and just for whatever reason, they just forgot about me or something. Nah, nobody ever got jammed up like that. Really? Uh, two Deweys at the prom. That's high school, baby. Yeah, that jammed them up though. 
Oh, yeah. They had to go away to, like, rehab and shit like that. Really? Yeah. Rehab? Yeah. Sent him to rehab. Yikes. For, like, three weeks. Right really? there. <laughs> yeah. That's nuts. We didn't have that. We had... Everybody would get under eight. Every, all of my friends, a good chunk of them were all on probation. In... I'm talking, like, 13, 14, 15. Really? Yeah. All of them. They all got arrested one night. Boozing? Smoking weed, throwing, like, stuff at cars or something. Like, you know, they snuck out of there all sleeping over someone's house. They all snuck out. Yeah, we did we're that We're just, like, shit. getting, like, you know, they were, like, I think they were, like, throwing a hacky sack at a thing or whatever. And Got probation for that? We all had weed. There was, like, destruction of property. You're 12, 13 years old. And I, there was something back then. See, that's the 2000. That's the difference. They were throwing a book at these kids. Dude, they had to do these act weekends, they were called, where they ship you up. They would, you would take time off if you did act weekends. You would take time off your probation. And an act weekend was like, you ever see, like, Maury Povich, where, like, they bring the drill sergeant in and they fucking, like, ship him up to the woods? Oh, uh, scared straight. Yeah, they would send my, they'd, all my boys would go up to the Poconos for the weekend with, like, <laughs> criminals. <laughs> like, actual criminals. Like an outward bound kind yes, of thing. Yes, and they'd have to do, like, hard labor and, Jesus. like, run up mountains carrying logs and stuff to get their time. It was like, if you, if you do a couple weekends in the labor camps, they let you free. Yeah. I thought we were going to have a nice brunch and check out the foliage. <laughs> do, do a little bird watching. That's wild. No, yeah. Prob- so they would do fucking, I remember my wife, it was like eight months probation or two months probation and four act weeks. Damn, that is the fucking book. And I remember my brother, my, my boy. 13, 14 on probation? Getting shipped away to go Man. hang out with like, at like 17-year-old drug dealers and stuff. Yikes. And there's a big difference between a 13-year-old and a 17-year-old at that age. Yikes. That's where, like... That's like us against NFL guys. <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing. Yeah. They were all, like, you know, like, catching heaters in the woods and stuff, and I remember being like, you are a man. That's crazy. I, I couldn't do that in my best shape. I, oh, if I did it now, I'd be bawling my eyes out. Oh, dude, best emotional shit. Bunch shots. of 13-year-olds <laughs> making fun of me. <laughs> I know you got your wanna, snacks on your fat ass. I want to go home. <laughs> my stomach hurts from the Ozempic. Yeah, and I remember everybody was. They would get taken out of school, had to pee, you know. I used to show up to pick up my, my one buddy, always flew too close to the sun. Always would smoke weed, do pills, on probation, and then be like, I got a call, they're coming Monday. And you'd go pick him up, and he'd, like, walk out with, like, a 24-pack of water, like, to go out for the night, or, like, two two-gallon jugs of water. Be like, I got to flush out till Monday. I'm like, just stop smoking weed for a week, dude. A long time, man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get my fix. Yeah, the I never pills got... come and go, though. They're out of the system. The right? pills were quick. It was always the weed that was jamming people Jam up. Jam you up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we had something back in the day. I don't know what. I never And used I don't it. condone drug use out of there. Of course. Obviously. Don't be ridiculous. So, I do. These are, all, in these are all fictional stories. Stay in school. Stay in school. Yes. Drink your school, do your milk, stay in drugs. Of course. Um, all right, this one's from Jeff. Never had one read. Is it garbage do yard work on Christmas? It was a 75 degrees one year on Christmas, and my dad made us rake leaves after we opened presents. <laughs> oh, oh ain't nothing worse than that. All your new cool toys are inside, and you're doing yard work on the fucking, on, on, on JC's birthday? That's fucked up. That sucks. That's the best, that's the height of being a kid. You could do it the next day. And the worst thing of being a kid. That's a dad who hates his job. He's just like this is what this is what the future holds. If I dude. suffer, you suffer. <laughs> yeah, We're dude. all in this Man. together. They could have done it the next day. You always have the day after Christmas off. Yeah, but or it said most people it was do. nice. They had, I guess they they sprung a nice spring day on them, and they were sure. like, "Hey, tomorrow's supposed to rain or something." Yeah, doesn't that sucks. Sound terrible. What doesn't sound terrible, dude? Imagine opening up all your new fucking gear. Yeah, you're you're fu- right. you got a Sega. You got a, a new bike, whatever the new hot thing was that you got. Last present is a new rake. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Can a leaf Next one's out in the garage, gang. You think it's. Think ah, it's like a, that was always think the it's best. It's a dirt bike or something. Woo wee. It's a new green rake. You got to do that as a parent. No matter what it is, you don't got to you don't you don't got to fucking break the bank. Mm-hmm. But you got to do the fucking. All right, that's oh, it. I think one more. Yeah, there's got to be one more. Sure, I get it. Loved it. I respect it. Till it sucked, and you were like. Fuck. 
Yeah, well, I also, I, I feel like looking back, I became like, I, I know there's one more, so that's what I was looking forward to. This and is I, all you got? And I didn't enjoy the moment, you know what I mean? I'm like, well, where's the where's the dessert, you know what I mean? You rush to the en- entree to get to the fucking goods. Get through the socks and batteries. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. Uh, New dragon chain. <laughs> Man. I think I got it at the Piercing Pagoda, it was called. Sure. Um, it was the square in the mall in the middle. Kiosk. No. Oh. Like a built. Yes. It, it, it had they, an ins- uh, I, I, that, that looked shady. Yeah. The li- it had like the hospital lights in there. Sure. Yeah. Go there and get like pierced. That. It was like free piercing if you buy the yeah. earring. Man, and I knew I would get my fucking ass kicked. Some guy who got fired from Cinnabon. <laughs> some, guy, some guy who just got back from an act weekend. Yeah, those dudes. Willing to play it fast and loose with the legal signature, you know, with the with the permission slip. Man. I remember. Dude, grown I- man giving little girls fucking earrings. Just <laughs> blasted needles through teens, <laughs> dude. Oh, it was lawless. Corn back then, cranking. I feel. Yikes. Going to Mr. Rags it was a cool It always store. seemed weird. What? When they, like, my cousins, they'd go to the mall to get their ears pierced. It would be like a thing. Yeah. Their mom, their mom we're going to take her get her ears pierced. Mm hmm. Oof. Scared me. Uh, then you get a look at one of those guys. You're like, I wouldn't let this guy fucking work the roller coaster. <laughs> you kidding me? Mm-hmm. Wouldn't let him park the car. They were always shady. They were always Very. like the guys who like couldn't work at a tattoo shop or something. They had to go to the mall. <laughs> they had the shakes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still, I said. You're like, well, I'm not moving. Is, that, is it me or is this room spinning? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I remember, dude, I wanted a fucking, I think it was from Spencer's, or, I knew I could never get my ears pierced, I just knew they wouldn't fucking, they were old school like that, no tattoos and no piercings <laughs> if you're living in my house, they were real fucking, real, they were real fucking, you know, what are you, the Air Force? <laughs> they were no dancing in my, you know what I mean? Like George Steinbrenner in the <laughs> 90s. Yeah, dude, they ran a tight ship. No jam. mustaches and the sideburns had to go. <laughs> You roll up, you, dude. You roll up to dinner with a set of mutton chops and your ears pierced. <laughs> you better be wearing a thick set of pants because you're getting your butt spanked. Uh, I th- did it in college. What but, uh, pierced my ear? But buddy did it. My brother came home with his eye ba- his eyebrow. I never told you the story. What I the think fuck? he came. I think he came home. F- <laughs> I think he came home from. What was he down in sandals? <laughs> came home with his eyebrow. <laughs> And my, I'm not even fucking around. Him and my dad got into it, and my dad yanked it out of his fucking head. Holy right shit! Right off, right off his face. Was it a, was it a, <laughs> like a hoop? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Mr. Ryan. They were, they were toe to toe. My brother, I guess, thought he had, you know, was feeling himself, and my dad knew he still had two tree good ones left in him. That was wild. Uh huh. That's when I. Re- that was those. There was a was year he, there. Was he like? It doesn't strike me that he would be that kind of kid, like into like that kind of stuff. What? I don't know. I'm maybe I'm picturing it wrong. Like I'm picturing like corn. Nah, this was more like it wasn't corn. It was more like dork. Yeah, <laughs> guy trying to be cool. Shout out to corn. <laughs> he threw a can of beans at my head. Fuck you, say pussy. <laughs> this guy's rocked. Uh, yeah, it was more... My boys all went through a thing in college where they were getting their tongues pierced. Dude, I remember... <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with that. I remember a kid in high school that my brother was friends with had his dick pierced, and everybody knew about My mom knew about I remember being like, this is weird, dude. Yeah, he had his dick pierced in high school. We yeah. used to, to the point where he couldn't drive. I'd lose too much real estate. <laughs> be, be like a goddamn door knocker down there. <laughs> uh uh-uh, uh, I couldn't do it. It'd be the world's world's smallest piercing. If you look real close. No way. Yeah. I remember going to pick him up because he's to get like those things through the uh uh-uh. No. <laughs> no. Stop. Just stop. I can't. I can't even put my fucking I can't start going down that road. I can't get shampoo in there. <laughs> start freaking out. Yikes. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, man, what a fucking... That was a wacky time back then. Yeah. 
You didn't do any of that shit, did you? Get a Prince Albert? That's what it's called, the Prince Albert. <laughs> what, on your dog? <laughs> what, dude? T-Bone's got a kettle, yeah. kettlebell down there. You here. know what I never, not liked, it sounds like I, not liked, but always, immediately, I would, if a dude had his nipples pierced, it, that was a no, a no-go for me. I'd be like, get out of the pool. Put that thing away. We're fucking, this is a respectable gentleman over here. Put baby in a corner. No dirty dancing. You know, he likes to get weird. Baby. Yeah, it's like, what, I'm 17. Relax, dude. Wait till you grow up a little yeah, bit. I'm into it. <laughs> no. I respect it, but I just, at, I, am I, you know, as a younger, I'm processing that, like. My mother would have fucking. Imagine if, imagine if it was a barbecue. She would have, she would have shot up the block if Dude, I came home with that. Fourth of July, you take your shirt off to jump in the pool, and you. Go, I didn't have the. I didn't have the titties or the nips for that. You no got, one does. Nah, dudes have that if they got like a good chest. I don't got it. Mine would. That's look the weird. kind of guy who takes his shirt off and puts it in his back pocket of his jean shorts. <laughs> <laughs> And you know who I'm talking yeah, about. I love that guy. That's uh, all right. I could never pull that off. What? Putting my shirt in my pocket. I, can, I can't pull off taking my shirt off. I, you know what else I couldn't pull off? That I, I could do it, but I'd hang it over my boobs around my neck. <laughs> Just say this is what I'm doing. Long sleeve. <laughs> I got a hoodie. <laughs> now I always wear a scarf in a pool. I always wanted to, when I was a kid, I wanted to rock that. I wanted to rock the, uh, the sweater over the shoulder tied up. Where? Anywhere. Country club that you snuck into. What do you mean? Important meetings. There was nowhere. I I, I wanted that look. I in a world uh, if I could afford the sweaters and had like to could pull that off. Sure, but I had nowhere to wear that. You know what I mean? Like there was no event or anything. I was. Yeah. Going. Why'd you bring the sweater? You know what I mean? If you're not gonna that's, wear it. Yeah, that's more country club. You know what I mean? Yeah. And the golfers aren't doing that. That no. was more like the rich guy's kid was sure. hanging out. You know. At the driving range or something. Up to no good. Yeah. Picking on the poor kid that was caddy in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dick. Yeah. Um, you had it going. And I wanted to tie, I always wanted to tie my uh, jacket around my waist. That was cool for when I had a period. I couldn't do it. I just did, didn't look right. Well, we did that with hoodies was big. I want to say I was probably like 10 or 11 or something like that. Or like uh, when we were skating, hoodies hit big. Junior high-ish, you would do it. You know, you would have that. That was, like, still okay. Why is it called the Prince Albert? You know, I just Googled it. Man, you two are fucking mind-melding today. <laughs> it's such a strange name. I know. It's weird, right? Did he do it, or was there a Prince Albert that did it? Oh, you mean the David Caruso? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so odd. Prince Albert was married to Queen Victoria, and it was rumored that he had his cock pierced in his 20s. What Back year then? is this? Uh, got, tell me it's the 70s at least. No. It's probably like the 1800s. Oh, that 18, wasn't, fo- 1840. That wasn't done at the Piercing Pagoda. I'll tell you that much. I'd give anything. Did you get that at the mall, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Was the piercing free if you bought the... Man, I'll tell you what. I don't know much. That hurt. That hurt and definitely got infected. Oh, back then? They probably did it with a ram's horn or something, dude. All right, hold still. I, I saw a guy do this one time. Rub some butter on it. <sighs> no kidding. Freaky dicky Prince Albert. I mean, imagine you, you, you're you married to the Queen of England and your legacy is cock piercing. I would love it if he didn't have it. And he's like, guys, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. That was my butt. That was a joke. His buddy's going, no, it won't stick. Don't worry about it. It won't stick. It won't stick. It was a thumb ring. I was in college. Did you ever do any of that? Did you Uh, ever do any rings? uh, Collada ring. Collada ring? In a relationship. What? You don't know what a collada ring? We've talked about it on here. I could see you with like a- How the fuck do you not know what a collada ring is? How do you spell that? I don't know. C-O or C-A? Collada. C-L- Not- A. Oh, collada. Yeah. The Irish ring. The hands and the heart. Oh, I didn't know the name of it. Oh, yeah. You wore that? Call yourself You're making Irish fun man? of me for a dragon necklace? Every one of my cousins, every one a, of my female cousins has that. I was, yeah, they have, they have them for guys, they have them for girls. They you don't know. have them for guys. Yes, they do. You wear it, you could use it as a wedding band. You wear it when you're in a relationship. The That's heart, for chicks, the dude. The heart's facing And you turn you. it around if you're engaged. That's yeah. for chicks. No, you turn it yeah, outwards. Yeah, if you're a virgin, dude. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. That's like... <sighs> No, me and my girlfriend each had one. 
But if you're in a relationship. I understand that you had one, but that's for chicks. They made men's. I wasn't wearing a girl's. It was nice. I was an adult. I was in my 20s. In your 20s? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Fuck out of here. I, I've n- no. no, no, dude. That is the biggest chick thing in the world. That was for like medieval broads so they could see if she was on the market or not. Trade you for two goats or something. <laughs> Try to make a deal at the pub. Throw her in the back. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, no. I think you're wrong. A lot of proud Irish Americans wear those. A lot of firefighters, a lot of cops. Don't try to fucking guilt me in with the firefighters and the cops. <laughs> yeah, forget about that. Firefighters aren't allowed to wear jewelry, probably. When they're off time. When they're bartending. Tending bar. Tendo. World needs plenty of bartenders. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's... A lot of tough guys have anklets and braided hair. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> it's a man's ring. It's a nice thing. Uh, I'm not saying they don't... You be proud of your Irish heritage. I- I'm not saying they don't wear them. Yeah, they also pierce dudes' nipples, but that shit sucks, yeah. too. I'd rather have a Prince Albert than a Colada ring. <laughs> 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 Fucking getting beat up on the subway. <laughs> Fuck out of here, dude. A Prince Albert <laughs> rather than a Princess Henry? <laughs> really? Uh, what you know, Princess Henry? No, nothing. Henry. I was reading about... Nah, your, forget it. I was reading about your lady rings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying they don't make them for men, for sure. They also make charm necklaces with dragons, but I shouldn't have been wearing that. I had in uh, your twenties. I had one of those. I wore that. Um, the the chain that I have now, which I've had, I've had the cross for twenty five years, maybe thirty years. I think I, I think I had a ring at some point. A ring. It, it was when like that you would get it on the boardwalk and like I was probably like twelve or ten or something and like you, mm-hmm. they were supp- it was like surfer esque skater surfer. I would like I don't, I don't really have the hands for it. I got real uh, bad hands, like sausage fingers. But I wouldn't mind a pinky. I could do a pinky. I feel like you can't. Once and you I do have that. My, I have my dad's old ring. Uh, that doesn't fit my regular fingers. I could wear that as a pinky. Sure. It's a sapphire. I could see you in one of those fist rings that says Hank. You know what I'm saying? What? Where it's all the knuckles? Oh, uh, yeah. Full nah. finger rings. Yeah, yeah no, nah, I don't like that. You know, I don't, I don't have, yeah, you're not in the Wu-Tang Clan. I don't have movement in my fingers. <laughs> no, you what if do. I got to pick a boogie or something? <laughs> <laughs> Come in with a black eye. Jam you up. Uh, damn. They're like brass knuckles. Those things frighten me. Brass knuckles, that'll hurt. I, I think I told the story. I saw a kid get hit with brass knuckles one time. He goes, give me your best shot. We had a party in a basement, big kegger. He goes, give me your best shot. The kid was from fucking, I don't know where he was from. He was somebody's cousin or something. And this fucking scumbag kid, real fucking tease all and fucking clocks him. And he literally just goes like this. And look, like out of a movie, looked back and then proceeded to beat the brakes off the kid. But I go, how do you go? They weren't brass knuckles. I go, how do you know? He goes, they were aluminum or something. He goes, if there was, if they were brass knuckles, I wouldn't be here. Like I wouldn't be talking to you. And I, I got my hands on the brass knuckles, and they said like, you know, a hundred percent aluminum or whatever. I was like, you were willing to roll the dice like that? What are you fucking nuts? Shit. Fucking hit the nitrous tank and relax for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I remember being like, what the fuck? He took your dragon away. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yes, sir. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah. Nah, that was it. What about you? You toe ring or anything like that? Toe ring? No. I wasn't, no, I wasn't in fucking Cirque du Soleil. Uh, um, I no, like, I said I, I had a ring. Uh, I had a really bad watch that I bought at Kmart one year. Young. 12 or something like that. Gold watch. Doesn't count. Oh, you'll hit. I had a Mickey watch for a while in high school. A Mickey watch? Mickey Mouse. Why? Because I liked it. It matched your vagina? What do you mean? Because I liked it. It was real simple. It was a Mickey Mouse watch with a, with, a, with, a, with a leather band. Was it like ironic? You had to be a little bit. I don't really know what ironic means. <laughs> I, like, I honestly don't. I don't know. Like as a joke? Not as a joke, but with like, I know this isn't the coolest, but that's what kind of makes it cool a little bit. Like when you're wearing something ironically. No, I was. Okay. It, uh, they weren't cool at the time. But I was wearing it to be cool. I think somebody yes, wore you're wearing it ironically. Somebody wore it in. But no, I wanted 
I was wearing it to look cool. Yes. But you didn't. They weren't of the time. You were trying to be like, oh, you saw. You were trying. It was, you were trying to be different a little bit. It was like five years after the time because they were sure. they were popular. I think with like, uh, like some of the eighties high school movies that I liked. Yes, and you were wearing. I can't it, put I, my finger on it. I but know. I you, feel like Anthony Michael Hall might have wore one. Yeah, then you're kind of wearing it ironically. Of like, I know they're not in style, and the fact that it's a little different is kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was trying to be cool though. Yeah, that's yeah. No, like all the hipsters are also trying to be cool wearing, you know, big baggy jeans. Yeah. And then that eventually becomes cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, the Mickey watch. The little hands went around. Pretty sweet. Sure. It's all right. Yeah. Other than that, no, no. I had the yeah, necklace, a watch. I, I think I tried one of everything. A necklace, a watch, a ring, hemp necklaces for a while. Oof. I would make them, too. Yeah, Yikes. my buddy from California told me how to make them. I'm sure I've asked you this, but just so we can all move forward, neither one of you ever wore Patrulli, right? No. Toby? Never. <sighs> Toby is like anti-hippie, but still very close to hippie. I fucking hate hippies. That's what hippies say. <laughs> yeah, That's you a s- real hippie thing to say. <laughs> Take it easy, Nixon, will you? <laughs> you smell patchouli, that's how you know a robbery is going to happen. Why? Because they're dirty thieves. I always identified that smell with, like, uh, the Grateful Dead people. people. No, it's a smell of sticky-handed whores who are here for your goods. <laughs> Dude, I, that it fucking makes me nauseous. It's crazy. Yeah, it's not my cup of tea. No, I, maybe I, smell patchouli or opium. You're in a bad place. I got to keep this vague, but or someone... a real cool spot. Someone in my life rocks it. At the moment? At the moment, an older person. I only see them once in a while at extended, extended gatherings. And when that rolls through. Phew, yeah. It's like fucking drop my shrimp cocktail. One of the three wise men. Kick rocks, will you? <laughs> Walking around kicking myrrh. Take your fucking frankincense out of But here. speaking of which, I'm out of my cologne. I got to find a new scent. Hmm. I was thinking sandalwood. How about s- can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> I was thinking sandalwood. You act like I can just pull sandalwood. Johnny D's got that Savage. Looks pretty nice. I d- don't know what any of those words mean. Johnny Depp. He sells Savage. I the cologne. Eh, ps- eh. Tim playing his guitar. Johnny! If you show up with leather straps around your wrist, I'm going to be real <laughs> upset. You can't be doing <laughs> five scarves. <laughs> Bankrupt. <laughs> Shout out to Depp. Um, I wanted one of those. What? So bad. Uh, one of those like leather things when I was a kid. I'm, my buddy rocked one. I want to say like high school-ish. One or two of my dad's boys, the guys that weren't married, they would roll in with like two, three turquoise rings and one of those with their watch. Turquoise. You can kick Rock, every rock that's ever out. Go to a quarry, find every rock ever, and fucking kick them. Yeah. It's never been cool. It always rubbed me the wrong way, too. You look like a witch or something. Go back to your stew or your cauldron. I don't, you, we're not hanging with your turquoise. A necklace, sure, if you keep a ne- turquoise in a little stone or something, but like the big stainless steel. Native somehow. Americans, of course. That's your heritage. I'll give you that. Well, if your name's Steve and you're from Idaho. Yeah. Lose the fucking Ozzy Osbourne hands. I'll give you a little turquoise and a bolo tie if you're from the, you know, from the Southwest. Yeah, that's of, yeah, that's of the ilk. I'll give you that. But if you, yeah. Yeah. Arizona gets a pass. Yeah, Southwest, sure. the region gets a pass. It's very sure. of the, of the, of the region. Sure. It's, it's very dependent on the quality of queso it's in like, your area. It's like <laughs> jean shorts in Jersey. I'll give you a pass. Can I see the chef, please? <laughs> The quality of gates up. Man, I still can't get over that Colada ring or whatever it's called. I'm telling you, man, a lot of fucking. I don't know one. I, I'm not saying you're wrong. I don't know. The, you, I know somebody, a lot of dirt. Somebody in your family has to, had, had the Every world. broad. Catherine, Bridget, Jenny, all wore them. No dude ever wore one of those in my life that I know. All right. I'm a pussy. <laughs> all right. There we go. At least we have closure on the subject. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this ain't saying. news. <laughs> hey, news flash. Man, Ozempic really does change a man. Yeah. Yeah? 
Uh, yeah, I'm not saying people don't wear that. I'm sure I just, I, I don't think they're maybe as popular as your painting. That's all. All right. Um, I was going to get you one for Christmas. A colada ring? Uh-huh. Would you wear it? Uh, no. No, I would give it to a lady. It's a cool story. It means something, a hand and a heart, something like that. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, so cool you forgot it, huh? Yeah. Over there finger popping yourself. <laughs> That's where it is. <laughs> to keep it warm. Uh, all right, let's see. This one's from Scott B. Is it garbage to have a computer chair at the kitchen table? Oh, yeah. Tough look. That's depends on. I'll give you an age. An age for sure. However, late, after 25, late, no. But late 90s, early 2000s, those fucking things were everywhere. What? The big computer chair? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean they were they were in every room. They were in odd places. I feel like this is the computer they deployed those on the front lines. Those things they were fucking everywhere. Yeah, I feel like the computer growing up was in very odd places in the homes. Living room. It was in the living room a lot of times. We put ours in the basement. There you go. Peaky peaky. Uh... <laughs> Some type of early warning system. Uh -huh. dude. Yeah, a couple of couple of glass bottles at the top of the stairs of that door open. Hey! Uh, what are you doing down there? I'm talking to dudes pretending to be ladies. <laughs> I might have done that. <laughs> Who are also pretending to be ladies. <laughs> that was huge, man. ASL, baby. Age, sex, location. Get in there and get weird. Uh, I we had ki kitchen chair or uh, kitchen chair, uh, computer chair in college was furniture. Yeah, we had two computer chairs in the living room that like could move around. Yeah, you would sit. Didn't and, have to get up. You know how many Bernies I caught on a computer chair just watching a TV? A lot of them. Get a nice one from Staples. I was doing all right till the wheel goes. Then there was always the real cheap version of them that like they were like real small plastic. The wheel always went. Yeah. Didn't turn, didn't go up or down anymore. We had one in our apartment when me and my brother were living together. And over like three years, the arms fell off, so we got rid of them. Then the back fell off, we got rid of that. It was just like a stool that didn't go up or sure, down. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. A, a real bad seat. That's what it turns into. Yeah. Yeah. Get you through a game, though. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. This one's from Ricky Doc. Is it garbage to use your mom's bank card to pay AYG Patreon subscriptions at 33 years old? Ooh. Shout out to you. <sighs> I it done. Buddy, you got to do You got to keep the plate spinning. Mm -hmm. And that's part of it. Let someone else pass, you know, hey. I, man, that's a tough look, but thank you for your service. I appreciate <laughs> it. You're really doing. Thank your mom, too. Yeah. Love uh, yeah, it's not ideal. Not ideal, but you got to do what you got to do. Don't act like you haven't moved some funds around, got the cash in your mom's I'm, hand, and how to use her card. Buddy, not hating at all. In the not too distant past. Not hating at all. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm wrapping my head around it. I totally get it. Yeah, I didn't. I just got a, my first credit card fucking two years ago. Patty wasn't a big credit card person. Oh, uh, we charged everything. Everything. I dared. There was a good chunk of years, so I'm sure there was a mountain of credit card debt. Just and the piece going charge you to the game. Charge you to the game. <laughs> and she would probably throw about a a hundred to a hundred and twenty bucks a month at it, just kicking that can down the road. She Woo! had every she had a Coles card, a Macy's card, a this, a that. Buddy. The debit card. Minimum payment patty. Oh, I'm telling man. you, dude. Shoebox full of bills out. I thought my mom made minimum payment so much that I thought that was fucking just what you did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that was it. Yeah. That's how they, that's how they fucking survived. Um, yeah, big minimum payment. Big minimum payment household. Which now I can't. I try to pay everything because I'm so bad that I know I'd, I'll lose control at some point. So I'm like trying to stay ahead of it. I'm trying to pay everything on time. Because I I'm I'm I've never historically been able to stay above, I've never been able to stay afloat. Sure. So I'm just fucking I'm really trying to get out in front of everything. 
Um, all right, this one's from Tim. This just says, can you do, uh, we could do it on the Patreon, could you do a, an episode of the Wild Wonderful Whites of the West Virginia? You've seen. Of course. You probably haven't. The documentary about the, the inbred family that lives yeah. there. The one guy barks? Uh, I don't I mean, maybe. I don't remember. Uh, all I remember. They're all drug addicts that live off of, that all like, that live on loopholes where they like West Virginia pays the money or something. One of the greatest moments ever captured up captured on video is that guy shaking that bottle of pills going, this is a Boone County mating call. Yeah. <laughs> Foley, <laughs> come, Foley comes in the shot. <laughs> Foley yeah, what are you doing with that pill? <laughs> Hello, stranger. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's, uh, that's a, why. if you haven't watched that, fucking, you go fucking watch that. Uh, yeah, I'm, for the, as the listener. That's, what do they want us to do? I just said talk about it, but uh, we could do like uh, we should probably we, go down there. What we should do, we could do, which we've never done. We'd have to figure it out technical wise, but like a watch along. Yeah, we could do yeah. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you just uh, yeah, like we, a commentary type thing. Would you pause it? I don't know. For but that is like that's fucking garbage. That's 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 not even fun garbage. That's just insane trash. For copyright purposes, we could do like a sync up thing. Maybe have a counter on the bottom that says where we're at in the thing. Uh, Can't go showing that at a bar. Not, that's how they got everybody on the fucking pay per view back in the day. Yeah, I still, I'll still go to, I'll still, I've still watched fights in the recent future or the recent past. Of, <laughs> the recent future of going to a bar, you pay twenty bucks, and they just have it on a computer. Have you ever bought a pay per view? That yeah. to me, you have to be a millionaire to do that. Never. We did, yeah. Never. I wouldn't even know how to do it. Oh, well, back in the day. You called. You had to call. I remember those days. But then once on demand came, you could just press order. They would show the first, like, the first two fights, uh, like boxing matches. I would watch it with my dad. But it was when, like, Lennox Lewis was uh, heavyweight. Never. He would fight what, with Klitschko, right? Or Klitschkoff, the big Russian dude. There was two Russian Klitschko. brothers. Yeah. Um, I remember getting a couple of those. He's and a then, mayor in Ukraine. Uh, is he? Yeah. Damn. Uh, I would get a couple of like the WrestleManias we got, but that was it. I was a big wrestling buff. Sure. Uh, nah, never. But they were never. I think it. Uh, I was always under the guise of You'd I had be nuts. I had to pay for that. You'd be. I'd be run out of town. Be chased out of the house. What? A hundred dollars. No. no, they were never a hundred bucks. These were like forty nine ninety nine. The wrestling was. It could have been a billion. It didn't matter. Sure, my but I always had to, the the thing was I always had to pay for it. Ah, oh, really? Yeah. Where'd you get the money, Dragon? <laughs> back in my, I was running the streets. No, it was like you know, well, your birthday money. I mean, I, I would go to work with my dad and shit. I would get like you know, here's twenty forty bucks. Anytime I would make, I had that, to pay for all that shit. Anytime I would make that move, not on a pay per view, but if like later, if I would order something. On demand or whatever, get a movie that you're paying that when it comes in. My step later. Dude, my stepdad would hit me with a bill with like highlighted charges. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. take it out of the fucking allowance, will you? <laughs> going to the pub. <laughs> Thirteen. Yeah, I'll be at the bar if you need me. Dust it off. <laughs> go down. That was his line. I'm gonna go down the street and dust off a bit. Wet my whistle. Ooh, wet your whistle was. Yeah, right, you can wet your whistle. That's what my dad always said. I was allowed to have like a sip of water because I'd always pee the bed. You can wet your whistle. Yeah, I would pee the bed. What of it? Yeah, I know all about it. Um, okay. Uh, all right, let's do a couple more. Uh, this one's just good. This is from Nick, $20 shareholder. Shout out to you, sir. Shout out to him. Uh, is it garbage to dip your Little Caesars crazy bread pizza into Pepsi and then eat it? Here's the thing with this. I'm a bite and sip, so I get to the, we get to the same conclusion, just different styles. You're looking at me like I'm crazy. No, I'm just picking. It's like Joey Chestnut shit. That's yeah. like competitive eater move. Now, Bite and sip like a gentleman. There's, there's, okay. The slightly less offensive version of this is French fries in a in a milkshake. Of course, pizza. That's the pe- savory Swedish. I'll give you that. Pizza though. crust dipped in a sodi is good. It's real. It's real. But then I don't. Th- I I couldn't. For me, that changes. Twelve thirteen. I can't change. I can't drink the soda. There's like an oil slick. It looks like the Exxon Valdez. Yeah, it's there's, not perfect. There's sauce and stuff. It's like just do the mixing in your mouth where it mixes. Yeah, mix it in the mix hole. I'm just trying to explain it to you. 
And I, I, I get it. I, I've done it. I've been a fan. I understand. I'm not. Uh, it's not for me. And I'm saying it's not for me for that reason. I also at one time was was letting the pizza get somewhat cold, taking all the cheese off in one thing, rolling that up, eating it, and then eating the the dough by itself. You're just like an <laughs> artist trying to do stuff differently. I just wanted that straight hit of fucking mozzarella, and it was worth having to eat the pizza because my mom would freak out. With what? Because I was wasting it. She's like, you're eating that. Wait, you would just eat the cheese at some point? At first, I would peel the cheese off and then roll it you're up. left with a burn victim? Man, that's, a, that's the undercarriage of a, of a fucking pizza. That ain't supposed to see the light of day. <laughs> that's, that's, I mean. Man, was it meant to see this? No. It's yeah. real weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, like, I don't mind it, but yep. as a little kid. It looks like it's healing. Yeah, it's scabbing up. <laughs> It just ripped off. You just ripped off the protective layer of epidermis. And it's a real, it's a real, it's a real interesting texture underneath that. Yeah, it's slimy. It's like a caterpillar. <laughs> yeah, it's not for me. Uh, uh-uh. uh, uh. Uh, an I, addict. Sure. Yeah, but to me, an addict would just cram the whole thing in his face. Don't You're it. really taking your time with it. <laughs> You're like reservoir dogs cutting an ear off and dancing around. And I keep it in a well. <laughs> it puts the mozzarella on. Uh, all right, this one's from Lil Goosey. Are you garbage if you live in a motel full time? My uncle lived in a place that would rent that had hourly rentals. Listen, I don't. That's it's not, it. Ain't great. It's not classy, but those you're doing what you got to do to survive. To not be on the street, I presume. It's it probably me. pretty nice. Nice turn down service. Ice machine. A motel, he said, with hourly rates. Bad. This guy's jammed up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not hating on a guy who's doing what he's got to do. It's no good. Maybe he's running work out of there. I don't know. Sure. I mean, you know. Hey, he's doing it. I'd rather that or he's sleeping on a street or in a car somewhere. I get real creeped out in the extended stay hotels. We've been in a couple of those. Mm -hmm. With a little kitchenette. They're good and bad. They're good and bad. I just... When you're in an extended stay motel, you're more you, which ain't great, right? You're dirtier. You're doing stuff that you shouldn't be doing. And then I go, what was the guy doing in this kitchen before me? Making eggs with no underwear on. Probably doing a little crying. Uh, yeah, or it just ain't great. And it's just, <laughs> it just. For sure. Dude. I don't like sleeping in a room where someone's cooked ramen. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like. Uh, you stay out of my place. There's too much. <laughs> Look, I'm knocking on my door, sailor. I'll tell you that. There's too much to I do. i ramen in every room in that house. Just walking around in a microwave. Uh, there's too much business someone can get into that just goes like, what are they doing with the spatula? The only thing about the motel is it's usually, if I picture that on the first floor and it opens out to the street. Yeah, that's a motel. Yeah. I yeah, s- I'm not, I, I'm, I doubt this uncle's like, this is the ideal situation. Of course. Everything in an extended stay feels like it's been inside of a human. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're probably, the guy's whipping himself with the spatula. <laughs> Who knows what those forks have been? <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm De- saying. Those forks have definitely scratched a couple backs. Yeah. I love Guy a fork. Guy shaving off a bunion or something. Love a fork. You ever use a fork to scratch your back? No, dude. Ooh, it's nice. Yeah, sure. Uh, I could just see you just rip, letting that rip and just right back. In no, the he, never. He gives a wipe on the leg. <laughs> On his dirty underwear, and then back in. He's not an animal. I let the dog lick it a little bit. <laughs> Give it a little spit shine. <laughs> no, never. But I have, I've have used it. I, I have eaten, been done, and then scratched my back with the dirty fork, and then put it in the dishwasher. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not ideal, as you said. You got fucking pasta sauce on your back. That's yeah, it's not ideal at all. What is, is it for the depth this or the reach? Or both. It's for the sharpness. Yeah, like the you, you get yeah, in there. Man. Really fucking chasing the dragon, yeah. so to speak. I love a back scratcher. Love. Why don't you just get one? I don't know. Lazy. Okay. I got the enough. fork. <laughs> I got a whole drawer full. <laughs> they keep spawning in there. Uh, we got to wrap it up, gang. Ah, uh, gang, this was a fun one. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you this. We love you. See you next week. Peace.